Good morning. Shall we pray together? The loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come together this morning, that we can sit in your presence, that we can bring before you in prayer our needs, our thoughts and our requests. But most of all, Lord, we thank you that you are here with us. You sit alongside us. So, Father, open our hearts to be receptive to you. And may the words I speak be acceptable in your sight. Amen. This morning, I just want us to have a look at a verse from John, it's John 15 and it's verse 13. There is no greater love than that to lay down one's life for one's friend. So, how do we perceive love? Love is when we are intimate with someone else. Most of us that have been fortunate to meet our partners, we were attracted. We built up a relationship. Those of you of my age, we would have went courting and we would start to get to know one another. We would get to know our likes and our dislikes. And then we made that next step. We committed ourselves to each other through marriage. We started a life together, a life that we would build on a life that would bring its challenges. And I always remember the first time that we lived together after we were married, someone said to me, you don't know someone until you live with them. And that is true because we all have our different ways of doing things. Things that I would do may have annoyed Heather and things that she did could annoy me but you learn to live with it and you learn to accept it because love is special. We're coming up to Valentine's Day. Big thing now, sending cards, giving gifts to the person you love. And we often show our love by giving something special. And I've always said that flowers are not just for Valentines. I like to give Heather flowers intermittently and often as appreciation of my love of her. But you see, Jesus gave his love. And how did he show it to us? How did he say it? How did he say, I love you? He did it this way. He did it not with flowers, but with these nails. He showed his love for us by being nailed to a cross. He laid down his life because of his love for us. That is the best Valentine's you could ever have because his love is unconditional. It's free at the point of access. And where do you get the access to his love? That is at the cross. 
That is where we receive his love in abundance. And what does he ask in return? All he asks is that we open our heart and we accept him. That we give our life to him. And we ask him to show us what he wants of us. It's an intimate love. It's a love that is always there. It underpins our very being. And just like any relationships, we will have those moments where we find things difficult. We find that we might be asked to do things that we don't want to do. And we will fall into traps. But you see, God is always there through Jesus and his spirit. He allows us to come back to him, as I very often say to you, we can come back and say, I've made a mistake, I need your help. Because love is all encompassing. Most often we find that we don't know how to express our love. But Jesus did, and he continues to do so through his spirit within us. Because when he knocks at the door of your heart, and you open it and you let him in, you will have love in abundance. A love that will never leave you. A love that will support you through all your needs. A love that will bring you comfort. A love that will bring you peace. And that is the love of Jesus, our Lord and our Saviour. Amen. Shall we just spend one or two moments now in prayer? Let us pray together. Loving Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for his love, that he was prepared to die for us, that we could come before you and call you our Father. So Lord, we just bring before you the needs of your world, those areas where there is conflict, where there is famine, where people are suffering. Lord, we continue to ask you to raise up peacemakers, those who would seek out the unjust. And Father, we also pray for those who have authority over us. We thank you for our Queen, for her 70 years reign, for her service and commitment to her people. We pray for our government. Father, we ask that you would, you would show them the way, that we ask that they would be honest, compassionate, but most of all, all truthful. And we pray for all of those we know and love who are unwell at this time. We pray that you will bring comfort and healing, that you would bring them your healing hands, that you uphold them in your love. And Heavenly Father, we just pray for one another that you continue to pour out your blessings and your love upon us. That we seek our needs at your feet. That we may evermore 
dwell in your love. So, Father, as we draw our prayers together, we just ask for your blessing and your grace and your love. In Jesus' name, Amen. So may God continue to bless you and keep you and may his face always shine upon you. In Jesus' name, Amen.